YouTubers, today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. Um, my name is Jenny. Welcome to Book Bandit's channel where I like to talk about books and I have fun with books and I'm a total nerd with books. Okay, so I know it's been a while for anybody who's been here since the beginning. I know it's been like two months, but I have a good reason for that. It's just, um, I have a second channel and it kind of took off on me and about crocheting and I've been so busy with that one I kind of neglected you guys but here I am middle of December I decided to read books with Christmas in the title right <laughs> I decided that at the end of November so the first book I read was November 30th okay it's called the Christmas murder game but I love those it's where everybody gets together in an isolated setting they're either snowed in or they're on an island and there's some kind of secrets going on and then they all start dying one by one by one because somebody's killing them all off now <laughs> this is the little picture of it in my reading app the Christmas murder game by Alexandra Benedict this book was was bad um the, the plot was and the storyline, it was, it was unbelievable. And the characters were, oh my, people were dying. And it's like they didn't even care. It's like they had no emotions. The characters were so flat. And, and the plot twists really weren't twists. It's like the author just decided at the last minute to pick whatever character was still standing to make them the murderer. But while it was bad, it was still fun and enjoyable at the end of the day so if you ever pick up the book called the Christmas murder game just know going into it it's not well done but it was still enjoyable so I read that on November 30th and that that kicked off my um reading book titles <laughs> reading books with the word Christmas in the title right so next I read um 12 days of Christmas by Debbie McComer Debbie writes a lot of um family novels, romance novels, and these cute little Christmas novels. I read this December 4th, and to tell you the truth, I don't remember what it was about. 12 days, 12 days, 12 days. Ah, it's, it's a trope of romance where it's Mr. Grumpy and Miss Sunshine. And then she writes a blog about it, but doesn't tell him about it, and they fall for each other. And she decides to be kind to this man who's grumpy and chronicle it in her blog, labeling it 12 Days of Christmas. Um, it was okay. I don't even think I put it in the cute category. So, two for two with books with Christmas in the title. Okay? Next one is from John Grisham. You know John writes all those... Um, lawyer books like the pelican brief should actually look at the firm the pelican brief the client the rainmaker the runaway jury so he writes a lot of courtroom drama and lawyer books well he wrote a tiny little book tiny little book called skipping christmas <laughs> now hold on a second because i actually have the movie that goes along with this Okay, so the reason I picked up Skipping Christmas by John Grisham, because every now and then, I myself would like to skip Christmas. Um, I find it, even though I don't do a lot for Christmas, I find it still very stressful. So, <laughs> this book was, was cute, sort of, but they made a movie out of this book, right? But they changed the title to Christmas with the Cranks. Has Tim Allen in it and Jamie Lee, Jamie Lee Curtis. I have watched Christmas with the Cranks every year for the last couple of years. I enjoy it. I think it's a funny movie. And comparing it to the book, the movie was better. This is the one time, the one time where you will hear that the movie was better. Um, the characters in this were. I understand the reasoning for wanting to skip Christmas. Their daughter had uh, was done college, was going into the Peace Corps, was traveling to some South American country, 
and it was going to be their first Christmas without her. They decided to take a cruise and not spend so much money on, on Christmas and to get away from it all. And at the last minute, their daughter comes home for Christmas, so they try to get their Christmas party going. Um, but the characters were, um, in the book, they're a bit mean and a bit self-centered. At least that's how they come off in the book. But in the movie, not so much. The movie has more comedy to it than the book does. And I enjoyed that. So, I read Skipping Christmas, and while it was okay, Christmas with the Cranks was better. Alright, so that's three books that have Christmas in the title. And, you know, I wasn't blown away by any of them. I wasn't. So, now it's time to look for other books that are either set around Christmas time or have a wintry snow theme to them. Which leads me to Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. It is murder, mystery, suspense, but it's set in the Scottish Highlands and there was a snowstorm. <laughs> oh my goodness. This one was, um, um, I've read Alice Feeney before and I've enjoyed her books. Usually two different points of view from his side, from her side. Um, the storylines usually converge. There is usually a twist in the plot, and there was in this one. Um, it was a little boring in parts. It, to me, it was just average, run-of-the-mill, isolated setting. Um, and there's mystery going on, and somebody wants to kill somebody. It, it was okay. It I don't know. Was it atmospheric? We're being isolated in the Scottish Highlands? No, it wasn't. It was just snowy. So, you know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with reading books, right? Okay. <clears throat> Which leads me to changing up my titles and picking something else. <laughs> so, you know, I love to shop at my thrift stores, right? I was in Goodwill. And I found a book called Mistletoe and Murder, Silent Night, Deadly Night, by Robin Stevens. A murder most unladylike mystery. So, Mistletoe and Murder. I mean, look at that cover. I'm hoping this one does not disappoint me. So, it turns out there are other books in this series. Arsenic for Tea, First Class Murder, Jolly and Foul Play. Daisy and Hazel are spending Christmas holidays in snowy Cambridge. Hazel has high hopes. Beautiful libraries, inviting tea rooms. But there is danger lurking in the dark stairwells of Maudlin College. A brutal accident takes place. Um, suspected murder. That actually sounds like a cozy Christmas mystery. I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, for a random pick in the thrift store, that actually uh, sounds pretty good. So, I'm looking forward to Mistletoe and Murder, and hopefully I can get that started today. Alright, and then I decided to go with a classic. I found a copy, a really pretty copy of The Nutcracker. Now... In all my years, I've never read The Nutcracker. I've seen movies, and I know that they've made a play out of it that is on Broadway, but I've never actually read the story itself. So I'm going to sit today and read The Nutcracker. I don't even know who wrote it, because this, is, this just says it's adapted. But, you know, I love artwork and books. So I'm looking forward to the artwork in this. So I'm going to be reading The Nutcracker. That's today. And then I'll do Mistletoe and Murder. Because it won't take me long to read The Nutcracker. Alright, so then I went to Barnes & Noble today. Because I love kids books for the holidays because I love the pictures and the artwork in them. And they usually have cute little stories to go along with them. So I went to Barnes & Noble, and I won't show you any footage of Barnes & Noble, because my Barnes & Noble is, is boring, and it's bland, and it's in the middle of a concrete parking lot, so it's nothing, nothing fancy to look at. I found a book called The Little Reindeer by Nicola Killen. 
I love that the artwork is all black and white and gray. And then it has just these little spots of red. And I'll show you. Because it says, on the night before Christmas, Ollie is fast asleep, dreaming of Christmas morning until she hears the sounds of gentle ringing bells. So Ollie makes a friend. Ollie is a girl, and she makes a friend with a reindeer. And the reindeer, of course, is one of Santa's reindeers. But it's just so adorable. I was flipping through it when I was in Barnes & Noble, and I love how they have bits of red in it to go along with that black and white theme of the artwork I don't know it's beautiful it's got some little sparklies in it so I'm going to be reading this one hopefully tomorrow oh it's beautiful I love it and then I found a book called Winter House by Ben Gutterson or Gutterson Winter House all right, so it's not, I don't think it's Christmas themed. Um, Elizabeth is an orphan. Her aunt and uncle send her off to the Winter House Hotel. Um, once she gets there, she realizes Winter House has many charms, it has a massive library, magical book. The hotel has secrets. It kind of gives me vibes of um, Green Glass House by uh, Kate Milford, and I read that um, back in January. So it's middle grade, but it's kind of giving me those vibes from Green Glass House. So I might save this one for January. I don't think it's a Christmas read, so I'm going to save it for January. So that's Winter House. I'm saving for January. The Little Reindeer. I'm going to read that tomorrow. The Nutcracker, I'm going to read this today. And then I'm going to go straight into Mistletoe and Murder. I read Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. Uh, the Twelve Days of Christmas by Debbie McComer. And The Christmas Murder Game. Um, I hope this video is finding you guys happy, healthy, and not so stressed for these holidays that are coming up. Um, I know it's been a while, and just bear with me. Uh, I will see you guys hopefully next week, and then I'll see you at the end of the year for a year-end wrap-up. Um, yeah, I'm out of practice sitting here doing these videos. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.